Hey everybody, Jeff Rowe, Jeff Rowe's Journey. It's been a while, been very busy. Um, had a couple of house renovations to do. Nothing huge, we just had a new front door installed and a new patio door that was installed. And as you guys can probably tell if I get a little closer here, so all they did was install the door, right? They didn't finish the drywall, the trim or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing. You can see I took the top trim off. Wasn't sure if I was gonna need to. Looks like I probably didn't. Um, but I'm in the process of putting some jam extensions in. Um, go over here, I'll show you this side. <clears throat> so you can see here that, you know, trim that I have is about two and a half inches wide. It would barely fit over this, so I'm gonna Dry, put drywall here, um, tape it, spackle it, and all that. Um, do the same, you know, I don't think I'm gonna need to drywall up here. Um, the trim's gonna cover it. So, but uh, yeah, some paint, some drywall work, some trim, some jam extensions all in there. And then down here, I don't know if you can see it, oh, there's a fluffy dog in the way. Hey, Dexter, hey, Dexter. Yes, I know. I know, buddy. Okay, hang on. Yes, I know. Say hi to the camera. Hi, everybody. Yes. Um, but you can see down here... Oh, yes. Okay, thank you for the kisses. I, I love you, too. Thank you. Um, but you can, okay, okay, that's enough. Uh, you can see down here, though, i got to put a sill plate um, so that we can step over it without this. This piece here I put in... Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to go over this way. Actually, I'm just going to let him out. There, that's easier. Um, so this piece here, I had to put that in because there was actually about a half inch gap uh, channel down there. So, let's see if I can, yeah, there we go. So I had to fill that in before I put the sill on. That way it's not rocking back and forth. So I gotta get that cut. I gotta get the uh, actual trim pieces cut. I gotta stain them spackle paint and it's monday the 21st of november the wife wants it done before thanksgiving on thursday so i'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of filming just wanted to let you guys know what i'm doing um and i will show you guys a picture of it when i'm done i'm not gonna upload two separate videos i'll just wait and then merge the two clips together so all right everybody take care this video should be out before Thanksgiving. And um, also, the 90 day carnivore challenge is over. Good and bad about that, but that'll be its whole own separate video. All right, everybody, take care. Hey everybody, Jeff Rowe with Jeff Rowe's Journey. So we are on day three of the patio door remodel. And I made a blunder. So as you can see, I am staining the trim and it's been probably 15 plus years since I did any kind of staining work. Uh, the last time I did it was in high school in wood shop class. So my silly self thought, oh, well, you know, you just brush the stain on, then you let it dry, and then you sand in between coats. Uh, not so much. Uh, clearly written on the instructions of the stain was to wipe it on, or brush it on, however you want to do it, with a rag or a bristle brush or a sponge brush or whatever. Then you wait 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how deep of a color you want, and then you wipe it off. So when I went to go sand it the other day, I noticed that it was getting really uh, splotchy. Like you can kind of tell right here that that is some stain that just kind of turned to goo or gunk. And I was having a heck of a time getting that off. I thought sanding it with like a 220 grit sandpaper might help, but uh, that did not. It just turned even gooier. So I was looking around and I found that if you apply the stain again, it actually has some solvents in the stain and it'll help get that uh, up, get the gooiness up. But as you can see here, I just got some it's got some little gooiness. 
some stain coming out of the wood. Uh, however, oh wait, you can still see a little bit right there. Yeah, eh, a little gooey. Let's see if we can just get that up with our hand here. Yeah, helped a little bit. Um, well, while we're down here, what I'll show you is I noticed that the faster the friction I put on there with the heat build up, the quicker it came off. So, <clears throat> I broke out a heat gun. Got this off of Amazon a couple of months ago, and uh, let's see if I can do this here. So where was that spot? All right, right there, let's turn this on. Now you don't wanna go too high or too long. You can kind of see it starting to bubble. That's all of the uh, stain, the pores opening up from the wood, and the stain's coming back out. All right, so let's turn that off. Get you guys down here a little bit closer. And you can see that the pores just opened up really nicely. So you just kind of go. And you can actually feel it. There. Kind of worked itself out. A little bit up there. And some more there. So, anyway, I've got all these to go through. Uh, so, unfortunately, the trim will not be up for Thanksgiving. Had I paid closer attention to the instructions, this probably would have been dried this morning and I could have uh, put it up maybe late tonight after the top coat or early tomorrow morning. But as it sits right now, it's probably gonna be Friday before it goes on. So anyway, learn from my mistake. Learn. Hopefully I showed you a little bit how to fix it. Morning everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Jeff Rowe at Jeff Rowe's Journey. So I wanted to give you an update on the patio door work that I'm doing. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, not all of it got done. I was able to get the drywall up, the jam extension up, and um, the wall was painted, well, primed, painted, and all that. But I was able to hang the curtain rod just to kind of maybe detract a little bit from the fact that the crown molding isn't even back up yet. So this is Dexter. The mighty Siberian Husky. Say, he wants to go outside. So, but uh, yeah, so down here, I didn't get the sill on, the sill plate. Um, I noticed in the first video, I was trying to explain what I was talking about, uh, the work that I had to do and the camera angle, and it was just terrible. So. There's a U-channel in here, so there's this piece of wood, and then it kind of goes down, over, and then back up a little bit. So I had to get this one by two, I think it was, and uh, fill in the gap here. And it kind of got progressively deeper um, as we go over towards the other side of the door over there. So I had a mixture of quarter inch thick and half inch thick pieces, and I just kind of gradually stepped it up. And what I did was I put uh, indoor construction adhesive on the bottom of this. Had another full length board that I put on top the entire distance and weighted it down with just like dumbbells or whatever I could find. Pardon the mess on the door. It's the dogs going in and out. Um, so yeah, so that's in there. And what this is going to allow me to do is once I get the sill finished, stained and all that, I can put this on there and screw it down and it'll take out some of that squishy wobbleness uh, from that. So, but yeah, so the jam extension is in, drywall's done. So, yeah, top isn't quite done, but hey, I did what I could. That, uh, that staining error that I made really set me back a couple days, um, probably a full day, maybe two. 
But anyway, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And even though I didn't get my goal finished, um, it's still good that I made progress. So from here, I should have it finished up by uh, Monday when I go back to work at the latest. So, all right, everybody. Like I said, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're all doing well. Take care.